Uh, all right. So, I'm has jumped ahead a lot because I just lost around eight hours of footage. What happened is that I was about four hours into a video of me walking in one direction, going slowly insane. Like we normally do every now and then to try and find rare stuff that we need to generate new parts of the world for. And around the part of me getting into around like my third jungle temple, trying to look for some more of these armor trims thingies. Yeah, smithing templates. The video ran out. I ran out of storage on my computer. Naturally, I'm a little bit upset. Do what I normally do. Delete all of my latest videos that are still there because they're on YouTube at this point. With me forgetting that I had a video I did not upload. Which is one of just me shearing sheep the entire time. So I screwed up. Exited the meeting. Went to go and try to recover that from my recycling bin. I couldn't find it. So I go back. And turns out I have somehow also accidentally deleted the other video. Of me getting up to the jungle temple. So... I hope, so I go to restart my Chromebook or laptop because it needs restarted, hoping that maybe doing that will let them show up in the recycling bin and they're both not there. Potato chip. That's my friend Trevor. Hi, Trevor. Potato chip. I live in your walls, mister. Why are you saying hi? I'm literally right behind the camera. He's playing I live saying. in your walls. And Trevor was here for emotional support after I almost had an emotional breakdown because of losing eight hours worth of footage. What do you mean? You put me in the walls. Like... I did put him in my walls. Luckily, though, what? over all those eight hours of footage, I did practically nothing because most of it was me trying to find the music disc through archaeology, which, as you can probably guess, resulted in me going through another cherry blossom tree hunt. Oh, in a second. You were looking for music disc? No, there's a new music disc that you can only get through archaeology. I already have oh. all the music discs besides that one. And then the thing is, so, total amount of progress that you guys have missed out on is me getting enough wool to do this part right here. All of this would be new. And then I got like around 17 stacks of torches because we went to that mountain with all the coal and I had fired like four stacks of coal, went back, chopped down an entire spruce tree and got the sticks for it. And probably the most gratifying but yet tragic part of my entire life thus far, I ended up finding the music disc in a what's it called again the toilet archae archaeology thing all right let me i ended up finding the archaeology disc just a little bit maybe like nine or ten chunks away from the jungle temple that my chromebook start my laptop stopped recording in I almost wanted to I was I was gonna make a Logan Paul joke, but I'm deciding not to. Medics is severe and continuous lapse in your judgment and you failed to record the footage. So therefore you suck and you need to get good. No, Plus, that... it's been severe and continuous lapse in your judgment and I forgot the rest of what he says. No, it's not that. I, I was it... I mean, yes, but that's not what I was going to say. I I don't think I should say what I was. I think I was going to say. 
And uh Should I say it? Should I, should I make the funny joke? No. 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 A moment of truth. What? Alright, so I'm looking what? for like the Marks of Iron Forge. Wait, wait, uh -oh. wait, no, I, I lost the disc. Shit. Where's where's the disc? Oh. Sorry, I I, I lost the music disc for a second. It, it it's in the chest with all my torches. Here it is. I can't see it. I know I'm sure my audience, and here's like the seventeen stacks of torches I, I've got. This is the worst like thing I've been on ever. <laughs> this is the only thing you've been on ever. Huh? 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 Okay. I still kind of want to cry. Bruh. Do not. Or else. I lost the footage of me obtaining this disc. How? Not to mention, I also didn't show the footage of me getting the cherry blossom sapling. Or I I don't have any footage because I did that off camera. Oh, do you have cherry blossoms in that game now? Yeah. Where can you from? Well, they're a very common biome. But because I've had this world for three years, I need to go like 15,000 blocks away from my house to generate new chunks so I could get them. Our... And I almost had a mental breakdown finding one of their biomes because they were so far away. Which yet again, um, but I didn't film that on purpose because I thought I wasn't going to find it. Maybe for future updates, you should make like a super highway of ice to go certain directions. I I try I tried Nether portals. Hmm. Super but, highways in the Nether. All my materials go towards building my house. Do you think you're saying that, um, well, your house is basically like a small metropolis at this point, so a highway is just like a small high hallway inside your house, so therefore it does not matter. I know, but still, it'd be a waste of resources. You can't spare some ice. No, because I almost have no ice. I have no ice, and all of the ice I have I I pre I'm pretty sure like I destroyed what would be like a low scale Antarctica to get a bunch of ice for a freezer I have somewhere in here. It's fun. Isn't the farther you go up, the more cold it gets? Why well, not just go all the way up and then get to where it's cold and then put water down? That's actually I. Is that how that works? I don't think that's how that works, but maybe it is. I don't think that's how it works either, but I. Yeah. Pretty sure that actually is because don't the mountains have a snot to top? So therefore, the higher up you go, um, the more water and stuff, and more ice and stuff. I think the more snow, but I don't think it can freeze water. Yeah, it I can't. Mean, it's cold. No, it, it it's can't cold. freeze water. It should freeze water. Yeah. No, it doesn't because people make super like fast water routes up there. If, if, well, no, if it if it put broke fire next to it or something so it never freezes. No, they don't. But actually what I meant to say is they build ice highways up that far. So if they were able to freeze water, then they wouldn't need to harvest all the ice to make the ice trails. The YouTubers I watch could just place a water bucket up there and make a new ice highway, but they don't do that. So they probably have to place down the ice manually. You want to go on a crusade across the world to get some ice? Now, I really need to work on grinding for sheep. I mean, gr grinding wool. Grinding wool. Because I need like 1,800 something. That amount. I I'm making a ginormous laser tag arena made out of wool. And honestly, after, after the day I've had of going to like four different jungle temples... Almost having a mental breakdown because I lost my footage. Shearing some sheep would be a very peaceful way to. You sure you have to shear the sheep? I know that's why I said I'm shearing the sheep. No, who said you ever had to shear them? That's way too like long of a process. No. 
Yes. Killing them is longer. No. Yeah, because then you need to you need to breed your sheep, and that takes three Minecraft days. Well, if you shear the sheep, they eat grass almost instantly and regain all their wool. Oh. Did you not know sheep could regrow their wool? What you're saying is you need a lot of sheep. No, I need a lot of wool. You need a lot of sheep to get a lot of wool. Yes, but because of the amount of things in my house, I can only have like 10 colors of sheep each. Or else the game starts to low down to a point that gives me migraines. So each pen can have around like 10 sheep maximum. So, you ha so you're having issues with that? No, not really issues. The, 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 the issue's been fixed. Just don't have a lot of sheep. You'll, and then I'm good. Spiders, if you want some fun, they drop, they drop string. No, string is one fourth of wool. I need eighteen thousand wool. That's gonna take way too long. You guys some playing Gary Bod. Dude, I'm. Sometimes I hate Minecraft, and sometimes I love it. Dude, Minecraft. I should play Gary's Mod Minecraft now. Dude, because. I I think I was in the twenty five thousand block area where the 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 music disc finally popped out of some gravel. You might be exaggerating. No, I'm not. I my coordinates. It was in the twenty five hundred miles, or the last coordinate I had. Was it like twenty five three hundred forty one or something? Where I finally okay. found an archaeology pod that had the music disc. It was twenty five three hundred something. And I'm pretty sure it was forty one, but I don't know. Can you hear my crunching? Yes, I hear your crunching. Girl, these Cape Cod potato chips pretty good. Not as good as cinnamon popcorners. No. Yes. They are. What you said you tried white cheddar popcorners in bread? I don't want them. What? No. No, you used all of mine last time. No. No. Minecraft. Dang it. Dude, my sister keeps bugging me for paper. She used all of hers and all of mine last time. That's an issue. So I I'm starting to tell her no. No, it's on the Minecraft of Gary's one map. <laughs> dude, I'm going to cry in my sleep tonight. Minecraft, dude. Yes, I know I'm Minecrafted, but I mean, Minecrafting is fun, but I still feel really bad. It's okay. It, it's not even really Zoom's fault. I'm the one who deleted both recordings on accident. So I can't even, like, say that it's unreliable. Because it was complete... What? Never mind. Because I, I said I wanted to try and record every single step and not do the thing where Minecraft YouTubers like mine off camera and come back with like 7,000 blocks of diamonds. And I'm also not doing the thing where Minecraft YouTubers room kids, but I mean, that that's just a given. Mm-hmm. <laughs> But still, it, it sucks, man. That, mm. It was a mistake. It's fine. I want to go through like the seven stages of grief for my lost footage. I went through sadness. Now I want to throw my controller. It was a misclick. It's okay. 
All right. I don't know why I said that like it was a threat. It's okay, man. It's okay. You'd be a great therapist. No. Okay. Oh my goodness, it's Hero Brian. Hero Brian. I used oh, to Hero think Brian. I, I used to think his name was Hero Brian. But it's Hero Brian. Like Brian. I can see why. It, so they combined the word hero and then the word Brian. B R I N E, which is a spike on like I think those like spiky like black ball fish you see in SpongeBob a lot. What? SpongeBob. The, the, those like black spiky balls. The, oh my, the, I found a hero Brian. No. Yeah, huh? Well, this map is so awesome. Just so nostalgic even though I've made no memories on it. Wanna hop on Minecraft? No. My account's still messy. Actually, no. It, it isn't messy. You just don't want have to deal with the you have to change your name and sign in and stuff. Uh I fell in G. Gary's mod Minecraft lava. No. -uh. Why don't you record like other things? Why don't you record silly multiplayer silliness? Well wait what? Why not record silly multiplayer silliness? I do sometimes. Onyx hops on with me sometimes. I mean, like, on your lap laptop. Oh, if anytime I try to record a game on my laptop, I have to watch it through the Zoom meeting because you they can't exit out of a tab. Well, for some games, if you exit out of Zoom, it stops recording. And so either when you open up a game, it stops your Zoom recording, or you're able to play the game. But you have to like watch it through the Zoom meeting, so it slows the game down by like forty thousand frames, and you're basically playing a Google slideshow. Hence why I record stuff on my Xbox like this, where I just point the camera at the TV like they did like in the olden years of YouTube. It doesn't. Okay. It doesn't supposed to be like a Luke Carter reference. Do you do you ever play Inscription? Who? Luke Carter from Inscription. Who's that? What's that? You know what Inscription is. No. The card game I made oh, a. Oh, sorry, that was a demon. The card game I made a physical copy of. What? The card what game. Are you talking about? Oh my god. And you call me Mr. Dementia. Huh? And you call me Mr. Dementia. What? You need to get better ears. No, you called yourself Mr. Dementia, mister. You called me Mr. Dementia. No, I literally didn't. Yes, You're the you one did. that called me like seven times so I'm gonna win about the retirement home and stuff. Then you hung up on me and said, Mr. Dementia. You, you called me Mr. Dementia as you hung up on me. No, I I didn't say anything before I hung up on you. Yeah, huh? Quite literally, nah. -uh. <laughs> Quite literally, yeah, huh? How do I go with this Minecraft Nether Gary's mod thing? Why is this person decorating the nether of wood? This is like 2013 nether as well, so it's extra fiery. Do you prefer like old Minecraft nether or the present one? New Minecraft nether.
The old Minecraft Why? Nether was garbage. Why? There was nothing to do in it. There was no netherite. And now I have red and blue types of wood, which really helped me flesh out my 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 structure. Like have colors that aren't all boring bland shades of brown and then you have one orange type of wood. I understand why most people really, really like the newer one, but I kind of still miss like the older version. Yes, there's next to nothing to do, but it just felt more like, well, hell. Oh, you can still find the older version of the Nether in the game. It's 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 now its own biome called the Nether. Yeah, but it's just a small bond. You can see other ones in the far off distance. Not really. I encounter Nether nothing lands all the time, and they're kind of like. Annoyingly huge. Also, I think oh, you just have good luck. Good luck. That's bad luck. That's really bad luck. No. Well, you know, this person didn't even bother like making a good house. They just put like a chest and two furnaces inside this nether fortress. You know how many ghasts can spawn in the Nether Nothing Lands? Um, like, seven? Yes. I swear, if I didn't have mob briefing off, that biome would have destroyed itself. Oh, come on, what's the fun of that? I know. Wait. No, what's the fun of not, what's the fun of having no biome destruction? Why no, don't you want your, your it's front no yard of the, your nether to look like the beaches of Normandy? No, I turned mob briefing off so things wouldn't destroy my house. Your house is in the overworld, man. Yeah, you have creepers, you have endermen. You have to rebuild. That's no fun of it. No, it's not. It's not fun. It, it makes me want to cry. It's unfair. You, like when I'm it up. Is quite literally, very fair. You didn't build up fortifications. You didn't home alone your house. So that way, you have to rebuild because you forgot because you forgot to home alone your house. So if I'm in, like, the basement and a creeper spawns on floor 7 and kills all my villagers, and I have absolutely no way of stopping that, that's fair? Yeah. No, it's Because not. you didn't put any torches up there. Dude, things would spawn when I put a torch on, like, every single wall. Like, on every single oh, block. You torches on every single wall. Yeah, I do. Like, every single corner has around five torches, and things still spawn sometimes. You have 17,000 torches. You just make every single wall have a torch. Make your then that's going to be really I mean, ugly. That's um, going to be ugly. Xbox suffer. It'd be easier just to turn mob briefing off. I also turned fire resistance off, and I play with keep inventory. Well, you're a cheater. That's not cheating. Cheating is using yes, creative mode. I did that, like, twice. Keep inventory. It, it's Keep inventory is literally in the options menu. It's not under cheats. Oh, yeah, it is. But still, I'm not doing it for the achievement. Oh, you just exposed yourself. I said I exposed, idiot. Dude, my viewers watch me kill myself on multiple basises. They know I use keep inventory. I've said that aloud multiple You're times. You're a cheater. Cheater. Well, sorry for having a cool fast travel in my house. Fast travel by by killing yourself. Yeah. I, I don't... How do we access the Minecraft Aether portal? Oh, you just have to put like glowstone and put water in it. I know, but there's like an iron gate. I mean, iron the iron bars in front of the way, and I don't and I can't mine. You can't mine in Minecraft, nerd. I'm playing Gary the mod. No, -uh. quite literally, uh huh. And you know what you're not playing? Gary mod. Yeah, because I'm building my behemoth. My mom just called you new. You new. I'm I, I'm building my behemoth. You're fine, mom. You're fine, mom. Listen. Yo, Minecraft Mine Shop one point one what? Minecraft.
You just stop talking, man. I how am I supposed to believe if you stop talking? It's your turn to talk. All right, so right now I'm on the Gary's Mod Workshop looking for the Minecraft map that I was playing because there's like 17 of them. And like, there's a concerning amount of Gary's Mod Minecraft maps. Well, it's not concerning, but there's a surprising amount of Gary's Mod Minecraft maps. Like, I I noticed one of the most popular ones out there, and I scroll past around five Minecraft maps, and when you're on, like, the third, fourth page of my of most popular Gary's Mod maps. Oh, my man, when I eat my cheddar popcorners. Oh, yeah, we were talking about popcorners before I started Undertale. talking. Undertale. And... So, what flavor of popcorners did you try that makes you hate them so much? I didn't try any. I just don't like the idea of biting into a chip and there's just nothing there. Trevor, are you dumb? Do you bite into a chip and there's and it's just hollow? That's like, not what a popcorner is. It's called popcorners because they're made out of popcorn. What? Huh? They're no. made out of you popcorn. Bite into it and there's nothing there. What? They're completely flat. They're 2D. No. You can't. It's like saying that paper is hollow. Yes, it is. No, it's not. There's not enough room for paper to be hollow. Well, give me proof that it isn't hollow. All right. Let me buy into a popcorn and I send you the picture. No, paper. Rip. Rip open a piece of paper right now. Send me a picture of you finding the inside of paper. I don't have a piece of paper on me right now. Does your house have zero creativity? Are you already saying there's no paper around your house? Well, I mean, there's paper, like, behind me, but I have to get up and walk over there to get it. But, Trevor, I've tried two flavors of popcorners out of the seven flavors. So, the first flavor I tried was cinnamon. That is, no joke, the best chip I have ever had. Better than any Lay's or Doritos flavor. Probably the, the best food besides spaghetti and garlic bread. It is genuinely one of the most best, like, tasting chips in the world. And then you go to try the white cheddar flavor. It is god-awful. But I still have to finish the bag of my white cheddar popcorners. No joke, it gives me stomach aches. I'm pretty sure I'm a I'm pretty sure I'm like allergic to the white cheddar flavor, but I'm I'm still I'm still gonna finish the bag because that's how much like respect I have for breaking bad. I'm never buying the wet I'm I'm never buying the, the white cheddar flavor of popcorners ever again. It tastes awful, it hurts my stomach, and it 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 it's just bad. The white cheddar flavor is the worst food I have ever had. Bone vinegar chips are amazing. Popcorn or cinnamon is better. I'm sorry, I, I just got to no. say it. No. Well, then you need glasses for your taste buds because it's better. No. Uh, they said there's numbers near Hero Brian, so I'm looking, but there's no numbers. Maybe you just need glasses for your eyes. I have glasses right in front of me. Yeah, right in front of you. That doesn't mean that they're for your eyes. Yeah, sure, whatever. <laughs> for real? Why does this Minecraft map have a Peruvian flag? Maybe the dude made it was from Peru. Maybe, maybe the dude that made it is from Peru. You got me there, but... Alright, yeah, you got me there. I ran out of space on my laptop again. I'm gonna cry. I'm sick of this. Why are you sick? Just have some medicine. I'm plugging my laptop in, so I forgot to plug it back in after I unplugged it and started crying. Where is Hero Brian? With your mom. Uh oh. Yeah, huh? Quite literally, no. Uh, oh, that's where Hero Run is. He's in the Minecraft mob spawner, of course. 
All right, I need more iron for my shears. No. Take that. They're just throwing, like, shuffle cards at me aggressively. No, I made a fart noise with my mouth. That's not no, shuffle. Sh no, that sounds like you were shuffling cards, if anything. It sounds like you're shuffling cards. I'm just talking while playing Gary's Vlog. No, -uh, you're gambling. And you're shuffling cards. I can hear your guy, your Minecraft guy, eating at like two frames a second. I know. Uh, I I'm gonna eat some popcorners real quick. I need to stress eat. Oh, be sure for that Minecraft world will just disappear one day. That's, that's not saying I will. I'm not gonna threaten you. Where did you put Hero Brian? That's honestly one of my biggest fears is this world just doesn't work one day. This world I've put four years of effort into is slowly falling apart right before my eyes. And I have fell into insanity on camera talking about that before. Like, I fear this Minecraft world disappearing more than I fear losing my life. That's a bit extreme. You know I use sarcasm, but still. One of my biggest okay, fears. Okay, Mr. Mind Man. Alright, like, so, ah, man jump scare. And so poor through a wall, and there's a hero bry. Nice. Um, it's gotten to the point where sometimes when I jump, my elytra randomly opens. Without me even, like, putting an input for that. My my house is causing so much lag. Have you summoned the wither yet? Oh yeah, four times. How many times have you fought the ender dragon? Twice. Why well, why only twice? Because I need to keep it alive to gather dragon's breath. Alright. Well, can't you just resummon it? Yeah, that's how I fought it twice, Trevor. Oh, you didn't get the egg from the archaeology thing? What? There's like a 0 0.01% chance where when you're doing archaeology, you can just find a dragon egg. Or, like, ender dragon egg. Do not... Do not say things like that to me. I'm never going archaeology ever again. I'm not joking. You are joking. I searched up the odds to see how many archaeology things I needed to find before I found... The music disc. That's well, not like, one of the things. Like a day ago, so no, it yeah. was. I went to the official Minecraft wiki, the ones made by the people that created Minecraft themselves. That's not a thing or you can find. An Easter egg or something. That's they don't do that. The update is out. They, they don't do hide any Easter eggs. Like if you get the, um, I think it's like the magical pillager. And give him like a red sheep or something. He goes, -loo -loo, and then the sheep turns blue. That's on the wiki. Mm -mm -mm. Right, search your wiki again, because I know that that's a thing. I want. I, I know that that's a thing. Wait, Trevor. What? Are you talking about the dragon egg pottery shard? No, no, no. Like an actual dragon egg that you can find. That's not a thing. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. I would have found that if it was. Well, well it is, so obviously you didn't. So, even if it's true, that I'm not doing that. I already have three dragon's eggs, so I'm good. How did you get three? Well, I have one, but I found, like, three of them. All right, man. Oh, wait, no, that's the dragon's head. Never mind. Still, I have a dragon's egg, and I have three dragon heads. Okay. Dragon head. A 
like in Ted and more like his name is Ted. <laughs> What made you decide, huh? Let's do a Q&A. Um, what made you decide to, 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 to make your house like a small city? So at the time I was really into Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion. So I thought I would try to build the Jump Scare Mansion in Minecraft. But then I realized that that would just be a bunch of like stone bricks because most of Spooky's house is stone brick. So it would basically just be me mining a bunch of stone in survival. So I figured maybe I could just make a 1,000 room Minecraft house. Because at the time, in my small little baby brain, when I was like nine, that seemed like a thing I could get done in one, maybe two summers, like summer breaks. Yeah, that does and, actually sound really easy. But then I also made a challenge that every single room has to serve a purpose. So I can't just make four empty rooms. Every room either needs to be a hallway that takes you somewhere, or it could just be for decoration. But it still needs the purpose. It still needs some sort of fictional use. So if I build a five like a Starbucks, like a Starbucks coffee shop. So like say I, it's like a porch and like a really cool place, or it's a really cool view. The cool view would be the purpose. If I'm building I mean, an office, fast food establishments. No, that's boring. If I make an office building, I could have a filing cabinet room. Even though filing cabinets don't exist in Minecraft, and the ones that I build in there won't work, it still serves a fictional use. Filing cabinets do exist in Minecraft. There are like a 0.01% chance during an archaeology day. Oh yeah, well there is a 100% chance of doing your mom during archaeology. No. Yeah. My mom doesn't do archaeology. There's no filing cabinets. Yes, there is. Stop bullying me. In like every three to in in game Minecraft days, there's a chance of you getting an enchanting book from putting on the filing cabinet. And if and that's a chiseled bookshelf, you know that chance to get paper. That's a chiseled bookshelf. No. Yes. No. -uh. Yeah, huh? No. -uh. Trevor, you need to stop bullying me. I'm not bullying you, bullying I'm just telling me. you what I know. You don't know anything. I know everything, man. No, I know you your don't. banking account. I know your all your details. I know everything about you. No. I can say so many things to the viewers watching right now. Then tell me. What's my gender? Washing machine. Okay, screw you. The washed machine. This so to all viewers watching right now, this guy put like massive fart clouds over the solar system a few years ago. It's that was funny. yesterday. A few years ago, yesterday, whatever matters, you know. Fine, if you know everything I about have, me, I have a screenshot to... of it. It was pretty funny. Oh yeah, if you know everything, can you hack into my laptop and recover those two videos I accidentally deleted? What? Can you hack into my laptop and recover the two videos I deleted? No, they're gone. But, like, can't you go into the recycle bin and recover them? Isn't that why the, you're able to open the recycle bin? I don't know, man. I'm not a computer man. I'm you literally are psychic. the computer. You are a computer man. No. Yes, you are. No. Your entire purpose in life is the game. No. You have over 33,000 hours in RimWorld. I, I don't. I can... Hold it's on, a five-digit number. How many hours number. exactly do I have in RimWorld right now? It's a five-digit um, number. I have 1,128.1. Say that again? 1,128.1. That's a lie. It has one more digit in that number. There, there's one, one more digit. 1,128.1 hours. By, that's what Steam says. That's only four and digits. And you have 1,547.9 hours. Is? What? 
You said the reason I have 1,000 something hours is. Now, I have 1,548 hours in Gary's mod. Well, what's the reason you have that many hours in Rimworld? Are you going to finish your sentence? What? The reason you have many that uh, that many hours is because of Joe. No. For you, you. What is the reason you have over 1,000 hours in Rimworld? You, you didn't finish your sentence. Uh, the reason I have that is because it's a good game. Okay. It, is, is that all you wanted to say? Well, I didn't say that. You're just making me say something. No, I heard you said the reason I have 1,000-something hours in RimWorld. All right, so basically, the reason I have 1,700 hours in RimWorld is because it allows you to do very silly things that the governments of international places would not allow you to do. But basically, it's because it's funny. I still think Minecraft's a better game. But you Gary's mod is like Minecraft, but better than older. No, I can build Chuck McGill's house in Minecraft really easily. But when I do it in Gary's mod, it falls apart almost instantly. Because you have like two hours on Gary's mod. Yeah, but in Minecraft, all you need is like one hour and you can build Chuck McGill's house. Gary's... I mean, you can build Chuck McGill's house in Gary's mod as well. Just you can't do it very well because you don't know how to code. In Minecraft, you don't need to know how well. to code. It's almost intuitive on how you can build Chuck McGill's house. It's almost intuitive. Gary's mod, though, it's completely unintuitive and uneasy to build Chuck McGill's house. You know, I still have your Chuck McGill house. Do you, I can bowl you with it. Chucky McGill's house. I had his house, man. But you don't have my Minecraft house, how do you? No, not the IRA. That's something completely different. IRS. But do you have my Minecraft house? Do you have the behemoth? Well, I can probably make them to... No, actually, I can't. It's way too big. Huh. Never mind. That's what she said. Well... Oh. <laughs> no, no, I'm not questioning your comment. That's something else, but... Oh, Sorry, I'm being extremely foul. I'm still just really salty that I lost the eight hours of footage. Yeah. Heck, I even walked Sorry. back to that cherry blossom biome that I found. Well, I mean, to a cherry blossom biome. Like, in... Like, oh, my a, cart. Like I, I I redid that in in another video almost not on purpose though because I'm never gonna find that same cherry blossom biome ever again. I'm I'm never gonna find this music disc on camera ever again. I'm never gonna find it. It took way too long. It didn't take longer than the cherry blossom bio hype, but at least I could have just walked forwards until I found a cherry blossom. Why did you actually lose your house? Like you actually sleep in a bed and never find your house again. Oh, I, I never sleep in a bed unless it's at my house. But, like, you actually can just click. Well, in that case, I can just break the bed and then kill myself and go back to World Spawn. Because I've memorized the path to my house from World Spawn. Mm. But I'm never going to find World this... World Spawn needed... mysteriously changes to something else. What? Both World Spawn mysteriously changes to something else. But I'm probably committing several crimes. But the chances of me finding this music disc on camera again are close to astronomical. Because I can't even walk back to the same archaeology site I found it at because I don't know the coordinates and it wouldn't give me the disc again. I'm going to need to find an entirely new archaeology site. And then it's not even a 100% chance it's going to be the music disc. I, I think you just need to take a chill pill, man. I can't. This is this is the third piece of footage I've lost. That's really important. Like it, it wouldn't matter if like I only lost me shearing that sheep and then placing down the couple blocks that I did. But 
in this footage, I found a music disc that I've been hyping up me finding forever now. It's going to be so disappointing and even a little sketchy when they they watch the next video and to them, I just magically have the disc. Want to just fake? Want to just fake you mysteriously finding it again, or just say, or just throw away that one saying it's too sketchy? What? Want to just throw away that one saying it's too sketchy and you lost the footage for, it and find another one? No, that's the thing. I can I can't find another one. There's no chance of me finding another one. It took me eight hours finding this one. I mean, it didn't take me. It didn't take me eight hours, but I need to go. I, I need to load new more chunk like I need to load more new chunks of my Minecraft world. And then the chances of finding this music disc at another archaeology site is eight percent. Meaning I need to find at most eight archaeology sites and at least one. But my car is spun on its roof. Oh wait, no, I'm so gone. It it I, I can't find another one. Just do. No, it's too hard. No. It's too hard why do you think I'm... Why, for a common simpleton. Why do you think I'm not. freaking out so much about this? It's because I cannot find another one on camera to make up for this. Because it, my world is so broken that it's it's not going to let me. The, the game's not going to... All it's going to do is spawn more tall birch biomes at me. It make me want to cry. This world drains my energy so much that I take finding a tall birch biome as a personal attack on me. Why do you not like tall birch biomes? Birches are the best tree in that game. Yes, no, I, I agree. Birches are a good tree. Otherwise. Birches are a good tree. But So this requires some context. In the Minecraft meme community, the tall birch biome is a common meme because it is a really good biome, you know, good trees, like a lot of space between the trees and very flat land. So like, it's really easy to build a house. But apparently in the Minecraft community, these biomes are super rare, hence why they're made of meme. I found like 77 of these things while I'm trying to find one acacia biome. Acacia being a really common biome. I will find... Acacia trees are also pretty nice. Why don't you have any of those? I do. I have an acacia tree farm. I love acacia oh, biomes. I'm trying to find an acacia biome. Just, like, get the saplings of the trees, man. I'm gonna... I'm gonna grab you by your nose piercing and then hang you off a bridge. I don't have a nose piercing. I'll give you one. No. Yeah, huh? No. Yeah, I said huh? no, so you can't. Yeah, I can. Laws no. don't tell me what to do. No. If laws told people what to do, then World War One and Two wouldn't have happened. What? If laws stopped people from doing bad things, then World War Two wouldn't have happened. Now would it? Beat that. Well, let me think. Let, let me remember here for a second. Um, well, if the laws are not properly upheld, then I mean, what then? Wah wah. All right. In Gary's lawn, I'm driving on the infinite map forever. Oh, and I just turned on my car's head. Alright, I'm going flying off a could, cliff. Should I just find another relic disc? Mm, I mean, do you like pain? No, I don't like pain. I mean, sometimes it's then fun. Don't. No! Or... We lost the footage of me throwing five guys at a wall. No! Because I found an archaeology site. And I was eating like reheated Five Guys fries from the from the Five Guys we ordered like a little bit ago. My mom was reheating fries and she gave me some because she knows that my favorite restaurant is Five Guys. And then 
I so I'm already having to go through a tall birch biome, which is like tall birch biome number eighty four by this point. So of course my mind is already in shambles by the sheer fact that half of my world is tall birch biomes when I can't even find one acacia biome easily. <laughs> and I finally find my first. So I've already been walking for like around three hours. My first archaeology site out of the three that I find. And I use my little sweepy sweepy. I go through the suspicious sand and gravel. And I only find hanging signs. So then I throw my Five Guys fries at the closet behind my TV. It was did so you, like, funny. Record yourself doing it, or no? I did it for the camera, but also because I'm really angry that I walked through a tall birch biome for three hanging signs. But then I went back and like ate the fries anyways because my floor isn't dirty, and I Your love Five Guys. Pest pit. No, it's not. You've been in my house once. And even then, at the time that you came, my floor was thoroughly vacuumed beforehand. So your statement no. is... You can't even say that you're an eyewitness to this, because my floor was actively vacuumed before you came over. To be fair, I, was, I did sleep on your floor. Yeah, so it was visibly clean enough for you to sleep on my floor. And it, then you left a puddle of cat hair on my floor. I did I did not leave a puddle of cat hair on your floor. Yes, you did. I was sneezing after you left because you left a puddle of cat hair on my floor. I just have cats, man. Yeah, and they obviously love sleeping on you because there was so much hair that it was making my eyes hurt after you left. No. Yeah. No. Uh -uh. Yeah, huh? No. -uh. Dude, I'm, getting... I'm elevating into the sky. How do you feel about this new revelation? Told you I'd grab you by your nose piercing. No, I'm gonna have some chips. Some more chips so the audience can have a very nice crunching sound. Well, I'm already eating popcorners. No, well, I can't hear that, which makes this no fun. Um, okay, who really eats these barbecue chips? They suck. Me! Barbecue chips go hard. No. They're not as good as salt and vinegar, but they go hard. They're like right below salt and vinegar. No. Barbecue chips are not good. That's only because you think of like anything slightly spicy as being a ghost pepper-esque temperature. No. You I, think barbecue chips aren't spicy. I eat Takis, man. What are you talking about? Takis aren't spicy. Bro. <laughs> I've had Takis before. I eat them for the flavor, not for the spice. Takis are not spicy. Honestly, I believe yes. that I could sue Takis for having all their commercials saying that they're like unbelievable or like seriously they're not intense. Unbelievably spicy, but they're spicy. No, they're not. I feel nothing when I eat them. I'm sorry that you've burned off your taste buds using a using a hot iron. You think barbecue chips are spicy? Don't even. I know. That's why you don't like them. How much is barbecue even spicy, man? I don't know. That's why I'm asking you. You think that they're spicy when they're absolutely not. As you go along, I never said I don't like barbecue chips because they're spicy. You have. You have in the past. What? What? No, I literally never did. You said that in the school cafeteria. Don't even. We don't eat in the school cafeteria, you dimwit. Call call up Charlotte. Ask Charlotte. Because I swear. All right, um... Oh, wait, I can't. Oh, yeah, I forgot. We're filming a YouTube video. No, no, I won't. Hi there. All right. Um... Don't go. I still need to shear more sheep. They're going on the scary Scott the Waz map. Oh no, the car. Screw you. <laughs> for context, for anyone that is watching this far, 
you're playing Gary's Mod just one time, and I'm, it's not Jam Cliff Escape. Um, <laughs> he just jump scared me with like a scar, and then he managed to somehow convince me that it just spawned in randomly and he didn't do anything. And then the car started moving on its own because it was on a slight incline, and it scared me so much I just left the game. What do you mean? I didn't do anything. It just spawned in. No, you've already admitting it, admitted to spawning it in. As a joke, as, as a funny. And you pour salt in your water. Do it. It'll make it taste better. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, I drink tea. Ew. Really? Oh, darn mouth teeth. Okay, Mr. British man. What? Tea tastes better than, like, a lot of things. Dude, I still don't think I'm going to be able to sleep tonight. What about sneaking your slime? I don't think I'm going to be able to sleep tonight. It's you, man. I'm no, still I thought, really... I thought that was you, your Minecraft guy eating. That was scary. That was my Minecraft guy eating. I know. I, I'm really trying the best that I can to just, like, let go, but I'm the fact that I still lost all that footage is really bothering me. Just a bit of footage, it's gone. But yeah, it's it it would it's me sharing sheep, yeah. But then it's also me finding the disc. That that's the part that's getting to me. The first like four hour video was just me sharing the sheep for four hours. Not even four hours, maybe like three. And but then then there's me finding the disc in the first place. Everything I would have been fine with everything being lost, but I mean, yeah, so I still be like a little bit upset. But then there's me Annoying finding the happen, it's fine. What? Oh, okay. I almost got another heart attack from entering the stupid cliffy skate map. <laughs> At the start of it, there you are on the little conveyor belt thing, and you're moving, and it sends you into a fire to attack it to attack AFK players. And I just entered a map, and I'm in a white, and I'm in a black void, and I'm moving all by myself. It was horrifying. It was the car, man. The funny thing is, this map isn't even, like, meant to be scary. It's just poorly, like, modeled. Oh, so all the, like, hidden monsters in behind the walls aren't meant to be scary? No, they're not meant to be scary. You showed me a dude pooping his head out. In a toilet. Being it, it's skitty BB, skitty BB. Yeah. Well, there's one of those things hidden behind a wall, and you're telling me that's not meant to be no, scary. No, there's several of those things hidden behind several walls. Have you played this map before or not? Yes, I'm the one who discovered the secret car. Wait, hey, you're the one that spawned the car on a slight incline. No, oh, gave me a heart attack. no, oh. Quite literal, your home moment. Proof? Yeah, proof? Um, yeah. Oh my goodness, Scott the Waz. Scott the Waz reminds me of you, actually. He looks a lot like you. No, your bone. What? Bone moment. Dude, you, you're literally just shorter, Scott the Waz. Oh, yeah, what do you mean? I'm just telling the truth. I actually never watched Scott the Waz. Are you, is he funny? Yes, he is entire Dude, you would have loved watching Scott the Waz. Who's Scott the Waz? Dude, you have to watch his videos. He posts like one every two months, but that's because his videos are always really high quality. He has your exact type of humor. I thought you watched him, like no joke. I know he's a, he exists as a person. Dude, he is so funny. You have to watch Scott the Waz. Is this is this Scott the Waz propaganda from you? No, it's not propaganda. Okay, Scott the Waz propagandist. Dude, he's funny. 
in case that the was propagandist. He makes the same exact jokes that you make, but better. In case Scott the was propagandist. He's funnier than you. That's not easy to do. In case Scott the was propagandist. This one kind of looks like. He, he looks like he he could be your dad, actually. What? No, no, he looks just like you. I'm. It's kind of uncanny now that you brought it up. He looks literally nothing to like. Show your mom a picture of Scott the Wallace and ask her if she if he looks like you. He looks. My like, mom isn't here right now. Ask one of your family members if Scott the Wallace looks like you. I'm home alone right now. Same way that you look like Apid Ryan, but like actually like for Ape real. Apid Ryan is like looks like a twenty seven year old dude. I look like I'm 60. I know, but I'm not well, joking. Not 60, but still. Like, I'm not joking this time, though. Like, th this no, isn't satire. I nothing alike, man. This this isn't satire, like the Apid Ryan joke was. You genuinely look like Scott the Boss. Oh, no, everything was satire. Okay, sure, man. Yes. Dude, you look nothing like Apid Ryan. I was joking that entire time. How did you not... You you yourself even thought I was joking. I mean, I was bullying you horrifically for that. Yeah, for the funny. Well, oh, okay. I'm 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 working on the white cheddar popcorners right now, so my mom will let me open my You've cinnamon popcorn. for like five minutes. I know, and my stomach is starting to hurt now. I really want to finish this bag of popcorners so I could open the heavenly cinnamon popcorners. Because mm -hmm. those things are no joke. Is the best chip I've ever had, the the best chips ever. I don't know how popcorners is somehow my favorite and absolutely least favorite brand of chips ever. Worst chip I've ever had, white cheddar popcorners. Best chip I will ever have, cinnamon popcorners. And then we still have the five other fla flavors that they make. Okay. I think the five other flavors are kettle corn, spicy quesadillo, tangy, tangy, uh, it, it, it looks like Takis. No, it doesn't look like Takis, but like the bag flavor looks like Takis. Sea salt. Mm -hmm. And... Sour cream and onion. So, the 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 next one I want to try is kettle corn because I don't no. the The next one I want to try is sea salt because I don't think I'll like it. And then I want to try kettle corn next because I I can't tell if I think I like it or not. It's hard to tell because I like kettle corn, but at the same time. Kettle corn flavored products, like I this this is a kettle corn flavored product, so I don't know if it's gonna taste like kettle corn. But then the other three flavors I think I like. So I want to do spicy quesadillo next, and then after that is that purple one that I can't remember the name of, and then sour cream and onion. That's how much respect I have for Breaking Bad. Mm -hmm. That I will try all seven flavors of their original snack. What other TV show? Can make a snack from like the TV show, and then people actually I don't think enjoy. It's a snack from TV show. I think those are just a brand deal. Oh yeah, no, like popcorners never show up in Breaking Bad, but like the Breaking Bad people made popcorners, didn't they? No, like, I don't like how think else? So, man. How else did they make that famous ad of Mr. White making popcorners instead? Money. Bribery. Like that has so much heart and soul poured into it. I'm pretty sure like the Breaking Bad people asked for popcorners to sponsor them with popcorners. No, I don't think so. I think it was just a regular brand deal. Well, how come if if popcorners existed before Breaking Bad, then how come they've never been in stores until that Super Bowl aired. They might not be from where we are right now, which I will not state due to reasons. 
Michigan? Yeah, Michigan. Okay. I, I don't think people are going to find us based off the word Michigan. Or, or just the fact that we're in Michigan. Michigan's a pretty big place. There's like two towns in Michigan. There's Chicago. Wait, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Chicago and Detroit. Yes, both of those places are in Michigan. I mean, one of them is. Oh, yeah, also, what's your opinion on Northern Michigan statehood? No, it's part of us. Statehood. No, it's not a state. I don't even remember what, like, they want to be called. But keep us together. We're connected by a bridge. Is the bridge not enough? What? Huh? What? Huh? What were you saying? They want to be called, like, superior. Dude, we're connected by a bridge. Is that not enough for them? Yeah, they, they've resorted to, call, to me name-calling. Okay. If they want to be called state superior, then they're going to have to be the superior state. Thing is, though, we're twice as, like, we're, we're twice the size of them. No. Yes. Have you looked at the map ever, Mr. Michigan Man? Okay. Have you ever looked at a Michigan map? You, you're yeah. the one who said Chicago. Screw you, <laughs> Chicago. No, not Chicago. <laughs> Chicago is one of my favorite Canadian cities. I love living in Yukon. What? We live in Yukon. I'm just going to say that. The we live in the Yukon territory in northern Canada. The um, Pizza Flex? We're, we're not in the Pizza Flex, Trevor. We're not in Utah. Utah's I said quite... Yukon. It's like there's a bear there. Am I getting popcorn on my remote? No, no, I'm not. Man, time is flying. It's already been an hour. Dang it, every time I think about Minecraft, I think about the, all the footage I lost. Stop playing Minecraft and no, playing Gary Mod. But I need to make up for like all the footage I lost. I mean, I'm never going to be able to get that DVD back. Your channel needs a bit of change. It needs a bit of new content. They're getting bored of the Minecraft. No, I got two new subscribers since then. Thank you to the two new subscribers. And to the two new subscribers, I'm sorry that one of your introductions to me is losing footage of me doing a really important thing. And I have a sad mind truck music is playing. That, that's not making this any better. I mean, at least you're cheering me up a little bit, Mr. Chicago. All right, Mr. Wyoming. Tell me, what is the capital? W. The capital of Wyoming is W. Idiot. Uh, I actually forget what. No, yeah, it's Casper. It's, there's like two people there. I'm pretty sure you live in like a taller building than their tallest building. Like the tallest building in Wyoming is like 12, 12 stories, and that's it. Actually, no, it's not Wyoming. That's the uh, smallest building. It's not Vermont. It's um, one of them. All right, but you name the 50 states, and I want to say one thing about each of them. All right, so Alaska. Cold. California. Annoying. Oregon. What? Oregon. Um, organ failure. Washington. Probably a very clean place. Hawaii. Every stereotypical vacation place all at once. All the time. Do you want me to name some territories along with it, or just states? Just the 50 states. Um, Nevada. 
<coughs> triangular. It's not triangular. Screw you. Um. Mm, mm, oh, let me pull up a map real quick. I forget. I forget what's this case? No, Idaho. Potatoes. Easy. Wyoming. Non-existent. Uh, New Mexico. Brown, brown, brown. Arizona. Brown. Oven. Texas. Guns. Louisiana. Resident Evil 7. Kansas. Not our Kansas. Oklahoma. Not my home. Colorado. Very colorful. Um, Montana. The Simpsons. Mm. Hannah Montana. North Dakota. Northern. Southern Dakota. Better. East Dakota. 404. West Dakota? Screw that place. Um, oh, what else is there? There's also Missouri. Um, actually a pretty nice place, not gonna lie. No, it is not. It has St. Louis in it. Yeah, he's hot. He has nothing but like a big ring. You know what, never mind. Um, <laughs> Uh, Mississippi. Used for counting numbers, and that's about it. Um, Alabama. Uh, never throw our family reunion there, or it's going to turn to speed dating. Um, Arkansas. Our Kansas. Um... Iowa. Colts. Minnesota. I want a bigger soda. Um, Michigan. Greatest place of all time. 10 out of 10. A little cold, but 10 out of 10. Indiana. Jones. Wisconsin. Cheesy. Um, Tennessee. Um, w way, way too overused in flirting. East Carolina. That's not a place. All right, you got all your hair. Um, Georgia. Female name for George. Florida. Shaped like a gun, and that's about as self-describing as Meta gets. South Carolina. Spicy. North Carolina. Forgettable. Virginia. Your mom. Maryland. Um, really good tourist trap. Um, not as many theme parks as I thought there'd be. Delaware. Um, should be the new place to make fun of. Um... Hold on. Um, Ohio. Overused. And it's where it's where my brother is from. Kentucky. Fried chicken. West Virginia. Uh, Western. Your mom. Pennsylvania. Big Bell. And that's about it. Too many subscribers. Broke the big bell. Um, New Jersey. Probably a twelve. It's probably if you turn that stinky jersey in the school like storage locker of gym equipment into a state. New York. Honestly, it, it's a despite all the bad stuff around it. I that's where I want to live. Uh no, it's not what. You know what? Um, Think about it. Small apartment. Pet Scott. 
Um, Massachusetts. You've, you have yet to say Utah. Oh, it's Utah. The Pizza Plex. Just entire thing is the Pizza Plex. Um, Rhode Island. Peter Griffin. Massachusetts. It could probably be used in some very nasty insults if you use wordplay correctly. Cape Cod. What? Cape Cod. It, wait, say that again? Cape Cod. No, that's not a state. Yeah, it is. No. Yep. Do you mean Rome? No, Cape Cod. 404, non-existent. I, I don't know of that place. Stop gaslighting me. That's not a state. New Hampshire. Resident Evil 2. Um. Um. Uh, uh, Vermont. Vermont. Um, Maine. Maine? Um, Greece. North Maine. Oh, um, it's where your dad went after getting milk. Alright. That's all of them, I think. You forgot Ukraine. Ukraine is not the 51st state. It should be. That would fix everything. I think that would just make it worse, but okay. Um. Anyways, um, I did. Did you notice that in Dakota, I just said west and east, and those aren't states at all. Yeah, I, I know. You a... No, you didn't. I knew that. Why do you think I was so mean to them, dude? For East Dakota, I said for North and South Dakota as well. Not really. For East Dakota. I put 404. Yeah. And 404 that, not they found. South and North Dakota, they're, they're not found ever. Well, what's the last time you've heard about the Dakotas, huh? Dude, Dakota just sounds like a pretty girl's name. But not like a pretty girl, like a pretty girl's name. It's the name of like a self, it's the name of a native tribe that got kicked off their land. Wait, it, w it wasn't named after Soda? It was named after a native tribe. I thought it was named after the Dakota Soda. Alright, you're trolling at this point. I know. You wanna know what Arkansas was named after? You mean Arkansas? Do you wanna know what Kansas was named after? Phineas and Ferb's sister. Do you want to know what New York was named after? Oh, easy. York. No. -uh. Yeah. It was named after the newest York. No. -uh. Do you want to know what Zealand was named after? Old Zealand. Where is Old Zealand? It's underneath the ocean. All right, fair enough. You got that one. Um, um, where? What was England named after? The king. No, oh, it was named yeah. after Anglo-Saxon. What was the king named after? New England. What was New England named after? The king. What was the king named after? Your dad. What was my dad named after? New England. What was New England named after? Petscop. What was Petscop named after? Uh, Rainer and Marvin making a game about pets. Who's Rainer and Marvin? Uh, your dad and your other dad. Who's my dad and my other dad? Mm -hmm. Rainer and Marvin. Who's Rainer and Marvin? Honestly, I expected people like when you search up Pets Cop fan art, there's also there, there's almost nothing of Rainer. 
Who's Rainer? Isn't that the one mountain in our great home state of Washington? What about Breaking Bad? No. Walter White did not deserve to die. He deserved to go to prison, but still, he was a good man. Until, no. until the end of season five. End of season, uh, I guess the There's end like of- There's like ten seasons. There's five! There's five seasons of Breaking Bad. No, there's like ten. Are you- search it up. Search it up right now. I can't, I'm talking to You're you You're right insane. Now. You're clinically insane. There's five seasons of Breaking Bad. That's common knowledge. No, it's not common knowledge. Oh, let me have my tea. <laughs> You're British. There's five seasons of Breaking Bad because there's five ingredients of methamphetamine. No, oh, wait, five stages of methamphetamine, huh? Yes. All right, no, that was just a, like a convenient thing. That no, no way that was intentional. I watched all of the director's commentary. That is a true fact, and you know it. No. You sent me the recipe to methamphetamine. More times than I can count. Oh, what? Those little memes that people post on, like, media sharing streams to get the streamer banned. Those memes where it's just the recipe for, like, black tar heroin. I in literally a very... sent you nothing. The closest, the most recent Breaking Bad I sent you was of Jesse for Minecraft Story Mode with the text, we gotta cook Jesse, or we gotta cook Walter, or something like that. Search up how many seasons of Breaking Bad there is on your computer. Uh-huh. Oh, on a second. Um, hold on. 83. Look, I told you, there's five seasons. 83. That whole thing about the five stages of meth was a, a complete fabrication. I just tried to get you to search it up. But there's only... There's nine. It says right there. Okay, there's nine. Don't search up how many dudes your mom has been with. Search up the season count of Breaking Bad. I did. Then why did it come up with nine? Because that's how many seasons there are. No, there isn't. I, My stepdad has the full series on DVD. There's five. Five seasons. No, there's nine. No, there's not. There's quite literally nine. It just searched up. You need glasses for your glasses. No? Yeah? I have my lens in. Well, either way, whether there's five seasons or if there's nine seasons, Walter was a good guy up until season five. Walter was a meth dealer. He was the nicest meth dealer I've ever known. <clears throat> He's not a Sigma male. There is some things he did wrong, like cooking meth. I'm not one of those kids who look up to Walter White. Oh god, my stomach. Dude, these white but cheddar puffs. Is that too much cheese, man? I'm not lactose intolerant. I just hate white cheddar puffs. Not too much cheese now. Did it taste like <clears throat> bitter almonds? <clears throat> Some of the, like, most screwed up things he did was number one, Poison Brock. I never and watched Breaking Bad. Number two, <laughs> had all ten of those guys assassinated while they're still in prison. But everything else everything else he did, there was a reasonable purpose to doing it, like blowing up Gus. Not many people bring up how him killing Gus was a heroic move. Because Gus was a really big meth dealer, too. Like, Gus was more of a bad guy than Walter. Who's Walter? It's like, even though, you know, they, they make a big deal how it was in a nursing home where the bomb was, but no old person got hurt besides the, the two meth dealers in that room.
Yeah, there might be a little I mean, bit of property damage. I'm pretty sure if, like, some people, the caretakers and stuff that ran in were probably not going to be, like, completely happy after watching some space get blown off. Doesn't matter. He was a bad guy. He was a worse bad guy than, than um, Walter. Uh-uh. But the most screwy thing is everything would have been fine. Walter stopped cooking meth. And then that's when his brother found out. No. He stopped cooking meth for like a good three months. And then when everything's all fine and dandy, Walter's still following the law. Everything's all fine. That's when his brother finds out. And I guess he shouldn't have not spoke, made meth for like six months. No, he stopped cooking meth, and then that's when all the punishments came at him. He stopped. Uh-huh. He was an innocent man by that point, because the only reason he kept cooking meth was Gus. Gus was going to kill his family if he stopped. No. You didn't even watch the show, man. <laughs> no. This is the man I'm really passionate about. And yes, Hank was in the right, but still... Walter was an innocent man by then. He no. killed Gus he, because he knew cooking meth wasn't a good thing. No. But he, he had to do it if he didn't want a bullet put in his infant daughter. Well, he should have just been built different. How about that? Should are you, are you saying it's the rough. baby's fault for getting shot? Is that what you're saying? What? Are you saying it's the baby's fault? Because she was going to get shot? Yeah, you know what? Yeah, it's her fault. She should just be built different. Why is the baby built different? Did you want the baby to smoke meth? No. Because that's, that's what it sounds like right now. I just said the baby has to toughen up. Maybe well, not get well, breaking bad. Well, I'm gonna. I need to wash my hands real quick. What? Wait, yo, what? Because I'm eating popcorners, and my hands are all covered in Cheeto dust now. Well, legally speaking, it isn't Cheeto dust. So technically, you're wrong, and you need to re-attract your statement because you're dumb. Trevor, not to mention you still owe me your first newborn. No. Yeah. Huh. See, the key is not to have newborn. You owe me a newborn. No. Yeah, huh? Remember on that save over, I told you the only way, the only the only way you could get me to play Flippy Scape was if you owed me your first newborn child. And you said you weren't having children, then I said you owe me a newborn. And then we started playing Gmod. You owe me either All your right. first newborn or a newborn child. Okay. So you have to give me it. I don't have one right now. Well, you need to owe me it before you die or I die. Why? Or what? Or I'll come back and haunt you. Why? Because you owe me a first newborn. Why? Because you got me to play GM Clippy Scape. When you <laughs> that 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 wasn't like a thing that called the deal off. You still need to go through with the deal. No, the deal was done. The deal was done because of that, Mister. No, I didn't say so. I say so. I'm not paying. Okay, so Walter White went to back to cooking meth a little bit after the two months he stopped, but that's just because he still needed money. And Skyler said that she was okay with it. Oh, so he, it's so it's okay that he did it because he needed money. And his wife said that he could do it. No, that doesn't make it good. His girlfriend said that, that it was his it's turn okay, on the Xbox. So it's okay to murder the person. If your wife says so, then yeah. No. Oh. If your girlfriend says that it's your turn on the Xbox, then it's your turn on the Xbox. I'm not allowed to murder someone because someone I know said, oh, okay, go ahead. Well, then, you're just a nerd. 
You're I'm a not simp. a merc for saying murder is bad. You're a simp then. I... You simp for the law. I do not simp for the law. Then why will you never break the law? Because I don't need to break the bad to to just say, yeah. Well, why don't you need to break the bad? Because you're rich. No. You have an arcade machine in your basement. Two actually. Two functioning arcade machines. You're rich. No. You're like the you're you're like the average YouTuber. You're as rich as Markiplier or Dan PDM or or Jack. No, they can like afford to like have a yacht or something. You have a yacht. We have a small boat. I don't even have a boat. Yeah. I live in Michigan, and I don't have a boat. I live in Michigan, too, and I don't have a boat. You just said you have a small boat. I mean, I have... The two you... sides of our state are divided by a ginormous ocean. It's like a relatively large lake in the Sad Lake. Well, no, it's because it's connected to the ocean. It's connected to a lake, which is connected to a lake, which is connected to a lake, which is connected to a river, which oh. is connected to a bay, which is connected to the ocean. Okay, well, all roads lead to Rome, so sorry. I left you speechless with my true facts. No, I'm trying to play, like, boat noises. Do you hear them? No, no, I don't. Oh, darn. But anyways, um, name one bad thing Walter did that he did not fix. Besides bra. Um, the drug? No, he fixed. He fixed it. No. Yeah? No, he didn't solve all crime. You didn't even watch the show. You have no idea. Stop trying to gaslight me. No, you didn't know. Name one crime that Walter did not fix after committing. Felony. Which felony? Melanie. Who's Melanie? You mean sentient mean... watermelon that was in a show? I can't even watch it. Dude, it, it, it sounds like you tried Walter's meth instead of actually watching the show. I did. What you show? Oh, by the way, we're having Walter's meth at my birthday party. Oh. We're we're gonna cook we're gonna cook raw candy that looks like sky blue. We're gonna have just like a giant bowl of it next to the birthday cake. Sweet. Make sure to get that in the hands of the kill children. I I really hope that the bowling alley that we're going to for my birthday doesn't think it's actual like sky blue. Don't worry, it's probably like generic employees. They probably won't care. Mm. Oh, and the show actually uh, taught me something. Morning, I'm on. Trevor. What? The show actually taught me something that cops do that I think is really cool. And that we're going to have an episode about in the cartoon that we're making. What's the cartoon? The cartoon that we're making? Well, I mean, that we're going to work together to try and make in the future. After. What's the cartoon? What could go wrong? No, what's a cartoon? Explain it to me. You still owe me a fresh newborn. No. Anyways, cops actually sell poisonous, like, like poisonous drugs. So that people who... What about poisonous junk? Cops in certain states are allowed to sell fake drugs that are actually poisoned. So that the people that buy them have a 100% 100% chance of dying after using them to get rid of drug use in the USA. Mm -hmm. I mean, they haven't done that since like 1980 something. But what do you think about that? That sounds highly illegal to do, even for police. 
Well, as the show states, all people are like a lot of police were like corrupt back then. Uh huh. That that's actually Mike's backstory. If you never watched Breaking Bad, that's Mike's backstory. You dingus. Uh, Even though it wasn't Mike. like specifically that. Michael from the F. No, the the names are spelled differently. Do you even have your subtitles on? I said Mike, not Mike. It's Mike. Michael. Mike Ermin Trout. Mike Ermin's a dumb last name. No, Ermin Trout. That's a dumb last name. Okay, so like, are you do you hate Jesus Christ then? Yes, I hate Jesus Christ. Love you, Mom. Those are two conflicting statements. You're fine. You can't love your mom and hate Jesus Christ at the same time. I can't love my mom and hate Jesus Christ at the same time. No, you can't. In fact, I can't. No, you can't. So either you love Jesus Christ or you hate your mom. Which one are you choosing? Huh? What do you say, Drake? I can't believe you would say that. Jesus, more like Jesus. I can't believe you just said you hate your mom. Wow. Mm-hmm. Oh, this old thing has three houses on it. Did you save my Chuck McGill house? Yeah. Prove it. Send it to me through Steam chat. Mm -hmm. Send me my Chuck McGill house. I can't right now. Yeah, you can. You're eating popcorners. I'm eating pretzel chips, which are also very good. <laughs> no, -uh, they're not popcorners. Mm -hmm. I love playing Teardown. It's a shame that you don't have this game. Yeah, I do. No? Yeah. No? Yeah. No, you don't? Yeah, I do. I have TF2. Teardown. Yeah, I have TF2. You're gonna make me fly off into the sky. <laughs> What, because I have TF2? I do have TF2. Yeah, so do I. I do have TF2. Okay. So? What are you talking about? You need to stop smoking the sky blue. I'm going into a both or so. You're smoking to an umbilical cord? That doesn't sound too ha healthy. Do you hear soul? What? Do you hear the medical soul? No, I don't. Now I hear it. It doesn't even have the lyrics. Okay. It doesn't have the lyrics. I only listen well, to the no. I only listen to the song if it has the lyrics. Play the version with the lyrics. Play the version with the lyrics. I like the lyrics. The lyrics are very wholesome. No, it's about a guy going to prison. No. No, it's not. Have you have you ever listened to it? Yeah. It's about I listen to it while running away from the Soul Good and next one and, and Gary's mod. It's about Jimmy wanted to become a lawyer like his brother, but then it all goes downhill from there, leaving him lying in the streets. It's not about a man going to jail. I mean, I guess it does in the end. Yeah, but they they. I mean, yeah, they probably like left that as foreshadowing, but still, the the main lyrics are about Jimmy in this land of freaks, Chuck McGill's lawyer place trying to become a lawyer just like his brother 
but then it results in his brother killing himself using a lantern. Man, I should play. Ch I, I I should play Chuck McGill's theme. What do you think? Don't you like that song? No, it sucks. Even worse than like the weird feedback ear check thing. You just hate saxophones. Both of those things are saxophones. No, that's Minecraft music. No, I'm not even playing it right now. You dingus. No, no, that's Minecraft music. I can hear it. Yeah, I mean, because I'm playing Minecraft right now. You are? Yeah. We're still filming a YouTube video. Yeah, I know that, but I thought you were just, like, sitting in your room talking about your films like it was this apology video. No. we're. I'm doing this over Minecraft gameplay. No, you were just sitting in your room, and you are about to say, I'm going to severe and continue this lapse of my judgment. That wasn't the um, joke I was going to make. You know I'm joking, right? I know. But still, that, that wasn't the joke I was going to make. You just did. No, what I was going to say is what I wanted to do after realizing I lost that footage was become a decoration in the forest that Logan Paul visited. Be a background mm -hmm. prop for him. After losing those hours of footage, that was the joke I was going to make. Worst what? That's me to be to say, sorry. What did you say? I said this is going to be the worst YouTube video ever, as it's just us having petty banter at each other while you play Minecraft That's for like, like three hours straight. This is just like, it, it's like one of those like YouTube shorts where like some, where it, it's like a movie clip, but then there's gameplay down at the bottom. Only that the gameplay here is low quality Minecraft gameplay, and the movie is us. Well, that's a really bad movie, then. Off corners. Dude, my stomach is in shambles. But I have too much respect for Breaking Bad to stop eating my cheddar cheese pop corners. That advertising is done really well. I know. Trevor, stop saying boobs. I'm eating chips. It sounds like you're saying boobs. You're gonna get my video age restricted. It's not my fault you have boobs on the mind. No, you're saying boobs right now. Stop it. I'm eating chips. Your chewing sounds sound like boobs. It sounds like you're saying the word boobs. How Why do you know what those sound like then, huh? No, I didn't say I knew what that sound like. Stop it. Yes, you did. You literally just did. What I meant is, sounds like the word, you pervert. No. Yeah. Huh? No. -uh. You're thinking about doing what to your cat? I'm playing Teardown right now. I'm burning down Saul's office. Yeah, and I have TF2 too. What are you going to do about it? What do you? What? Be you and Saul. And so is a TF2 guy. You're going to bite me? I'm not going to bite you like a feral animal, mister. You just said you're going to bite me. That, that's a little No, sus. I'm eating chips. I'm buying my chips. Trevor, that was a little sus of you to say. I'm eating my chips, man. Trevor, why are you acting so sus? Because I'm eating my pretzel chips, man. Trevor, you're, you're, you're acting really sus right now, man. Oh, darn, I just flipped my car. Why are you flipping <clears throat> off your car, huh? The soul's office is burning. Why are you flipping off your car? What'd your car ever do to you, huh? No, oh, Lady Liberty's head just fell into the building. Lady Liberty is a lady, actually. There's nothing in Seoul safe. Yeah, there is. Meth. No. -uh. Meth. No. Yeah. No, uh, yeah, I huh? looked in there, there was nothing. Well, yeah, that's because you need glasses. 
I didn't need glasses. It was super bright in there and stuff. You need glasses. I found glasses. You need braces. Yeah? Why are you making fun of me for being poor? I'm not. Yeah. Sorry I can't afford two arcade machines in my basement. And uh, that my family can't afford my braces. Mr. Rich Man. Mr. Chuck McGill. You're as rich as Chuck McGill. Chuck McGill has one arcade machine. I'm running down Saul's office. Yeah, so you're really just Chuck McGill from the hit TV show. Better Call Saul. In Breaking Bad, actually. Chuck McGill isn't in Breaking Bad because he killed himself. Yeah, he is. He's in Breaking Bad. No, he's not. He it's the hidden side character in the very ending scene. He's dead. He killed himself with a lantern. There's no, no way. Yes. He survives. No, he doesn't. Yeah. No. He's an ending character in season five, episode whatever the end is, when Walter falls over and, and it goes da, 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 as Walter sits, sits, lays on the ground, having a very nice day. Walter doesn't die. That's not even how it goes. That's not how it goes. You're so off tune. That's not how it goes. You're so silly, Willy. That's not how it goes, and you know it. Do, 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 Keep trying. Do, 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 do. Keep trying. You're, you, you'll get there eventually. Do, 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 oh, wait. Search, search up what the last episode of Better Call... I mean, search up what the last episode of Breaking Bad is called. Earth's Confession. No, that's, ep that's season four, you dingus. Why can't I see the ground? Because you're not searching up the last no, episode. No, that's why. Because you're not searching up the last episode of Breaking Bad is called. I hit the ground so hard I'm inside of a cinder block. No. -uh. Yeah. Uh. No. -uh. No. -uh. Yeah. -huh. No. -uh. Yeah. -huh. Tell me what the last of the season, the season Breaking Bad is called. I'm. I'm gonna spell it out for you. F E. L I N A. Bona? And can you Bona guess how it's pronounced? Huh? Can you guess how it's pronounced? How? Blood, sweat, and methamphetamine. Hmm. Do you get it? No. Because when you look at it, it looks like it's pronounced Fanila. But. If you look at the way the letters are capitalized, it's actually things on the periodic table. F-E is iron for blood. L-I is lithium, which is what makes sweat smell so bad. And N-E is methamphetamine. Or meth. So it's called blood, sweat, and meth. Well, uh... I just hit the ground at 20,000 miles an hour. Well, uh... It's actually very, like, convenient that you said that. Well, uh... Well, uh... I want to know a fun fact about Gus Spring. What? He likes men, like, canonically. Good for him. That means you actually have a chance with him. No, Because as, well, as, as we all know, he, he uses children. To, to cook meth sometimes. So maybe if you got on his good side, if, you know, no, somebody resurrects him. the worst joke ever. I'm, yeah, but... You said you had or... a crush on Gus Spring. I had a... What? I remember you saying that. No? Yeah. What are you talking about? Lunch period, second quarter, around week five. That's way too specific. 
the number one thing is that like fraud like like super big liars do is try to overly remember details to, to try to solidly share it. That's way too specific to be actually true. So therefore, you I don't know. Lie. I'm joking, you silly goose. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I know what you said, though. So, wait, do you remember what I said on that day, though? Um, probably something about the show. <laughs> yeah, probably. Trevor, you stink. Yeah. Alright, so right now I'm flying up in the sky and I'm just having no, like, all, that better no, all, no, all, no, all, no, 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 oh, then how come you stink? You want to see Saul's office? You're not at Saul's office. He doesn't let stinky people inside. Oh, do you want me to send you a screenshot? No, because I'm... Oh, no, I can't. Because I want to, like, accidentally, like, leak your number. I'm going to try to open it. Alright, so essentially... There's nothing here. There's like a burnt pillar. For some reason, a constitution is still alive. The safe is open. Um, the vacant area in between his thing and the noodle shop is currently burning down. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right now, it's spring to the launch of that. No. Oh. Yeah, huh? I'm here to physically witness this. But then, but that's not true. You can't be there. I am. Then how come you're stinky? Because I'm a laser gun. No, wait, wait. You know that? Yep. So you know that one fact about Breaking Bad. But then you don't even know Saul Goodman's friend's name. Of course I knew that. Wait, tell tell me what I think that you know. Alright, so right now in the game I have a laser gun. Okay, I'm just gonna walk I knew, in and shot some stuff. Okay, I, I knew something was up. I know I, I knew you didn't know that fact about Saul Goodman. Listen, I just want I, I have a laser gun right now, I'm shooting it. Pew pew pew, I shoot lightning bolts on my fingertips. Yeah. Did you actually know that Saul Goodman loves to play laser tag? Of course, man. How can I not? You're such a liar. I do know that Volter where she's a go-kart with Jesse Pinkman. That's deserving of, like, a life sentence right there. Yeah. Yeah, you're, you're right. But, I mean, you, no, the, there's no, there's no standing up for that choice. Yeah, there's no standing up for that. Would you date Jesse Pinkman? No. Screw you. What about now? I'm driving around in circles around a lot with a van. No, I'm going to run into the noodle place. No, not Chang's noodles. I ran straight into the kitchen, and now there's a hole in their back. In their in the back. Would you would you date Jesse Pinkman now? No. Did I? Right, so Chen's noodles has like a massive hole through your front window. I just braided a bunch of sheep. That's probably a really bad idea. But I'm almost done with all the black sheep. So once I get all the wool I need, I can just kill all the black sheep, and I can then I could breed the other colors because then I I'll need them. Mm hmm. So I'm going to let the game lag for a little bit, but then I could just go back and kill all the black sheep but two of them. And then I could breed all the other colors I need right now. Because I'm almost done with the thing that I need black wool for. 
Why do you need so much black wool, man? For the hallways between the laser tag arena that I'm building. All right, fair enough. Sorry, I'm not talking much. I'm looking for someone to make you not stinky. No, I know where the shower is. What? I know where the shower is. Um, Would you date Saul Goodman? You know my answer. Yeah, I would too. No. You just said yes. No. You would though. You told no. me so. Then how come you told me that you would? Mm -hmm. Uh, uh huh. Yeah, uh huh. Are you a pooper? I'm not a pooper. You're a pooper. Trevor, ask your dad if you're a pooper. Sorry, but... Trevor, ask your dad if you're a pooper. I am not, in fact, a pooper. Ask your dad I if you're a pooper. I have never pooped ever. Ask... Well, yeah, that's why you're constipated. But ask your dad if you're a pooper right now. My dad isn't here. Yeah, huh? I'm right here. No. Trevor, I asked I'm than you by like several years. What? I'm older by you than you by like several years. Trevor, you're younger than me by two months. No, we. Okay, no. We actually were three days apart. What? Oh, yeah, we're. Wait, what? Huh? We're three days apart. Yeah. On the eighth, you're fifteen. I thought you said your birthday was in like July or something. No. I want to play Chuck McGill's theme. Why? Wow, it's so before. good. Chuck McGill's theme is so good. Yeah. But the coach. Sorry, I was just doing some silly maneuvers. Can you play Chuck McGill's theme? Don't open your door right now. I'm not doing anything. What? Don't open your door right now. Why? Why? No. That's good. Okay, this is why you're a pooper. No, I'm not in fact a pooper. I just accidentally leaked your number. No, no, I didn't. Yes, it's more difficult to leak my number. What? What did you say, Trevor? Anyways, that's what I was saying. No, what did you say? What did you want me to do? No, no, nothing. Did you just want me to delete your number? No. How would deleting your number stop me accidentally leaking your number? No, never mind. Um. Oh, oh yeah. So I'm being interrogated by a small puppy. Kick him. Have you mined and crafted? Maybe. Hello? Hello. I died there for a second. Aiden! Aiden's texting me. Who's that? My cousin. 
You have a cousin? Well, he's not really my cousin, but my mom and his mom are such good friends that we're practically cousins. You have a cousin? Yeah. Your uncle. Hmm. And that would make me your dad. I'm eating popcorners. I'm making water. Don't be surprised if I accidentally leaked your number because I put my phone down face up for a second. Bruh. I'm just kidding. Your number isn't even visible right now. I thought th I thought our call time was your phone number until I realized phone numbers aren't six digits. I'm gonna tell everyone your phone number. His phone number is two o seven eight two eight eight two nine. Did Did you really just say my phone number? Mm -hmm. Oh, screw you! No, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I know. Oh wait, that, that that's not even enough numbers. Did you give me a heart attack for no reason? What I ever do to you? Is this how you treat your dad? What? Is, is this is this how you treat your dad? No. Then why are you treating me this way? Fun silliness. That's it. That, that's it. No boobs for you. No matter what your age is, I'm banning you from boobs. <laughs> I do not have poop dust. <laughs> we went to the museum today, and, and, and one of the paintings had boobs. <laughs> what are you talking about? We went to the Mr. Beast Museum today. All right, yeah, because we live in South Carolina. That's nowhere near Michigan. It might not have been official. It might not have been a, it might not it might not have been the official Mr. Beast Museum. But the picture I sent you with me on the funny funny goofer. Mm -hmm. Let's see here, what's Selena's gonna find? Um Why are you taking all my fun, my funny? I'm talking to Aiden right now, you goober. Look at this. Minecraft, a thousand room challenge part 28 gamer rage from one day ago. I'm disliking this video. Whoa, this is. Wait, sucks. oh my god. I just. Dude. What if. What? So th the last video is me getting really angry at the game. What if they thought I got so angry that I cheated off camera? No. And, and, and now I just said that. But, dude, I'm, I'm so... Man, I, we, we were having a great time, and then I just... I, the stupid eight hours of footage I lost. It's okay. But now there's like... Like, like, it's some sort of, like, a reasonable absolute, like, hmm. Why didn't I piece that together sooner to realize that's an issue? Why does it say you have no views just by me watching this? Because you need to watch at least halfway through for it to count as a view. Through that, your videos are four hours, that's a lot. All right, I guess I'll just keep uploading. It, it doesn't matter. Uh, as long as I make sure I show the rest of it, I'll be fine. 
Dang it, that, that's like the... Yeah. Alright, so when you, if any new viewers, let me tell you this. Um, um, uh, start your own multiplayer battle trauma today. News quote of Intel Desu. Trevor, you farted. I heard that. I did not fart in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then was that your pop corner? No, oh, I don't. Aiden just sent me sixty-four pictures of a block of cheese. He is my favorite cousin. Does your does your cousin send you sixty four pictures of cheese and say that he sent you a stack of cheese? My cousin's one. Screw him. Bad cousin. It's not her actually. Not anymore. What? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness, this guy is not number 35 for trending or for gaming. Best YouTube channel ever. No, I don't want to. Okay, and I still get like you, so I've got your video, American Football, choosing submarine in this game, and can you bleep Skyblock without the star chest? No, I don't want to watch any of this. Go away. Clear. Robert. What? Stop saying my brother looks like a bag of potatoes. He, he does. No. Your brother does look like a bag of potatoes. No, you don't. Well, he literally does. No. Sorry. A pile of potatoes. No bag. Stop it. He looks like a bag of potatoes. No, he don't. He does. You just say that to simp for women. Actually, you know what? He looks like a pie. No, not even a pile of potatoes. He looks like mashed potatoes. No, he don't. Stop bullying him. Well, he literally does. Stop bullying him. He's he's like one. Barely. Doesn't he look so huggable and so cute and so adorable? He looks like he wants my money. You're so mean. He's, he's a baby, bro. He's a baby. He wants your soul. No, he don't. You think all babies are evil. That's the only thing he desires, is your soul. Why do you hate babies so much? What? You're so evil. Why do you hate babies? Babies are not awesome. Screw you, babies. Babies are awesome. Babies are the point of life. No. Uh -huh. Yeah, huh? Your babies look like little potatoes. Babies are adorable, and they are then... You can thank babies for our entire existence. If it wasn't for babies, you wouldn't be here right now. Alright, so baby, I can still dislike babies. What's that? <laughs> You're so evil. I'm not so mean. I just don't like babies. You're so mean. No. Why, why do you hate babies so much? They look like sacks potatoes. They cry a lot. They're specifically made to be annoying. No, they're not. They're made to be, like... Cute, so that you don't kill them. They're made to annoy you. No, they're not. That's not how biology works. Why do they cry? Because how else are they supposed to get your attention? 
talking very formally. You need to teach them how to talk. So if they don't talk, that's your fault. You need to teach them to talk with a suit and tie. You're so evil. I'm not evil. I just don't like babies, man. You're evil. With a capital no. V. No. Uh -huh. You're so evil. I'm not so evil. You're I just e don't like babies. You're evil with a capital V. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. no. Yes. Quite literally, no. Quite literally, yes. No. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. I'm going to come out your structure and tear it down. So this is going to be quite silly. Alright, hold on. I'm about to cause a building collapse. And how come <laughs> how come you have glasses? Hmm? What? How come you have glasses? So I can see? Only people who love babies have glasses. No? Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. What traumatic childhood experience made you hate babies so much? No. Did the baby beat you up and mug your parents? No. I don't understand. So you're saying you hate my brother? You your hate brother me? looks like a sack of potatoes. No, he stop bullying him. He does. He's so adorable. Tell he... anyone that may be watching, he does. He he grabs my hair in the cutest way, and he just like puts the hair next to him because he loves me. And then he grabs my finger. And he's potato. No, no, he not. No, he is yeah, not. He is. No, he not. You Your leave him alone. Just have to accept this fact. You you need to leave him alone. Stop. Hating babies, you baby hater. Your brother is potato. You just need to accept this fact. And you need to accept the fact that you need to stop bullying babies. No. Don't think I didn't see you when you took that lollipop, like that, that comedically big lollipop, out of that baby's hand and made it cry. You're just making things up now. Yes, I am, but that's only because I'm defending babies from you. Babies are little sacked potatoes. No, they aren't. So, so you're saying... Yep. So you're actively admitting to cannibalizing babies. Wow. I am not actively admitting to cannibalizing babies. This man, this man cannibalizes babies. How could you? How I'm could you? You're, you're a monster. You eat babies. I'm after, after you bully them. How could you do that? Hamburger. How could you eat babies after bullying them? Hamburger. I'm telling on you. Hamburger. Stop bullying my brother. He's not a hamburger. He is a hamburger. No, he's not. Hamburger. You're so hamburger, mean. Baby. He is a James Bond burger. You're so mean. James he's Bond burger means... Burger. James Bond burger means to 69 somebody, you creep. Burger. Well, legally speaking, they, don't, they still don't know what James Bond burger means completely, so technically speaking, you may be wrong. And you're wrong for hating babies so much. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Uh -huh. Yeah, huh? No. Yeah, huh? Stop bullying no. babies. Uh, okay, sorry for hitting the little sack of potato. <laughs> you can't say sorry and then go back to bullying somebody. Okay, sorry that I don't like your little sack of potato that is your brother. You're so mean. Your brother is potato. You're so heartless. 
I'm not heartless for calling your brother a potato. Yes, you are. No. You 100% are. No. Yeah, huh? I disagree. You disunagree. No. Yeah. Cause that, that, that means you agree then. If you disunagree. Next, I'm getting a cup of water. Oh, you need a cup of water. Why not make some tea? Have you left? Right, to, to the audience still here. Um, his banking info is 82982. That's his pin number. Um, and so, yeah. Tucker, stop learning with my viewers. No, that was not showing them your banking info. Stop rizzing up my viewers. Stop telling them your phone number to call you. I am not doing that to your viewers. Also, I'm pretty sure one of my viewers is an employer, is an employee at Mojang. No. Dude, literally, I, I complain about how they changed the way the Minecraft keyboard works. And then they fixed it. That might just be a general disliking of that, so, of that no, mechanic. No, nobody else complained about that but me. I'm special. And I think, no. I thank you. I thank you, uh, employees at Mojang. No. Mojang doesn't hate babies. Mojang? Yeah, because that's a... Okay, no, that would be mean of me. I shouldn't say that. What, what are you going to say about my brother, huh? I was going to say the reason Mojang doesn't hate babies is because that's their entire business model, but that would be mean. Yeah, that would be mean, because you bully babies. I do not bully babies. You, you bully, bully babies. babies. You, you bully babies. No. Oh. Yeah, huh? Ooh, this tower is falling over. Trevor, if you hate babies, why do you work at a daycare? I'm not legally allowed to work... Yeah, I know. <laughs> I mean, not for long. Like, you know how things are going in this, in this area. But, you know, the thing in the day. Stop being Canadian and tell me why you hate babies. I do not hate babies or potato. Stop cannibalizing children. I'm not cannibalizing children, mister. Do, do, I, need to, do I need to tell my mom that you hate my brother? I'm just gonna say that your brother, as a child and you know, as a small baby, is pretty ugly. He's not. How dare you? That you're so mean. He's a potato. No, he's not. You're so mean. Mmm, potato. Stop it. He's so adorable. No. Yes. No. Yes, he is. You stop being no. mean to him right now. No. He is potato. You're so mean. Stop no. it. You... I'm attacking you right now. I'm, I have a jetpack and I'm blowing up the tower. No. Wait, but you... This is a quite literal yo-ho moment. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I'm quite literally blowing up this tower as we speak. I'm blowing up your phone. Of what? <laughs> Pictures of your baby potato brother? You leave him alone. He's adorable. He is not adorable. He's cuter than you. Yes, so? You don't think he's cute because you're only attracted to, like, purple, like, Swedish farmers. What? I still remember that time on, 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 on the field trip that you said that you were attracted to Swedish farmers. Stereotypical Swedish farmers. No. You still won't admit that you said that, but you said that. I did not. Joseph, Joseph agreed. 
You called up Joseph in the middle, and he no. said, "He said no." Yeah, he did. No, he, stop doing cognitive dissonance. He we called him up. cognitive dissonance. He said no. He said that he remembers you saying that. He remembered. He remembered wrong. No, he didn't. Even Eli, I texted. I texted Eli that night. Did I tell you? And he said yes. You said that. I did not say that. I said redheaded serial killers. You said stereotypical Swedish farmers. Eli said clown esque jesters. And then Joseph looked at all of us oh, like we're sure, clinically... sure. almost all those are just sarcastic. No, everybody was being genuine. Maybe except for Eli. Oh yeah, the, the stereotypical jet court jesters is not sarcastic. You you saw his face went up because you're under the table. But like we were all being genuine, I having a good time. The table kingdom just chilling. And then Joseph looked at all of us like we were technically insane. And he said that the only thing he's attracted to was red hair was brown hair. Like his boring, usual boring self. Well, good for him. Why is this tower so hard to knock down? That's what she said. No, I mean, like, I'm getting rocket launchers at it and still not falling down. It's, like, tilting. Oh, no, it's going. Oh, no, it isn't. There's about to be an opera. I've just entered an opera house. With four Swedish farmers? No, it is not full of Swedes. Well, I apologize that my brother isn't a stereotypical yodeling Swedish farmer. For whatever oh, you have a general misinterpretation of Swedes, if you think that's what it is. Oh, my game just almost crashed. From all of your lying and tall tales. I am not telling tall tales. You are telling false tales. Dude, everybody remembers you saying that night on the field trip. As we were talking about They're girls. Lying. You, have, you have them in your pockets, I remember. What? You have them in your pockets. Well, yeah. Yeah, I have their contacts. Why wouldn't I? So you just admitted to having a hostile um, connection network of several people. That night, on the field trip, we were talking about what to do in stereotypical, like, Disney sitcom-esque fashion. And we all agreed that the stereotypical funny thing to do would be to talk about girls. And you said that you were attracted to no, Swedish I, farmers. No. Yes, you, whether you were being sarcastic or not, you said that. Joseph remembers. Eli remembers. I remember. You are the I only don't. one. You're the only one I'm remembering right here, Mr. Demenka. Mr. Dementia. All right, Mr. Remember when we were in the retirement home and they were pooping yourself or something like that? Remember when we were in the retirement home and we were both 90 years old and you told the nurses to let me cook or they were trying to stop me from aggressively pooing my pants? Remember yeah, that? you called me like six times saying that. No, -uh, I only called you once. I just forgot the rest. I'm gonna... This tower is still not falling down. Honestly, Eli being attracted to courtroom gestures isn't a surprise for how much of, like, like his personality. And, of of course, with Joseph and You're his... You're strictly this type of person that uses, like, star signs as, as, and judge people based on that by saying that... You know, I would judge people on their star signs, but only sarcastically, and if they're the type of person that do that. Otherwise, forget your zodiac signs. What's your monopoly piece? I don't I actually don't think I've ever played Monopoly, at least. No wonder you're attracted to Swedish years. farmers. You live under a rock. What about a rock? No wonder you're attracted to Swedish farmers. You live under a rock. Monopoly. Actually, I know my piece, cockroach. That's not a piece. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yeah. I have Monopoly in my closet. There's no cockroach. Are you thinking of the giant... There's a giant boot. There's a giant hat. There's a giant ironing board. There's a dog. And there's a car. 
then it's dry ironing board. And then in the new modern pieces, there's also a giant cannon and a wheelbarrow. Mm -hmm. Which one are you? I'm the wheelbarrow, so screw off. That's my piece. Which one ironing are you? Board. You're the ironing board? Yeah. No wonder you're attracted to Swedish farmers. Oh, well, legally speaking, since you are the what are again? The wheelbarrow. Since you're the wheelbarrow, that means that you carry lots of hoes. I carry a lot of what? Lots of hoes. Okay, thank you. You're not bullying my brother for once. He, and your brother looks like a sack of potatoes. Forgot to mention that. Well, you, you should like potatoes, because that's what your Swedish girlfriend's going to be farming. Potatoes. Well, they can't actually swim. I don't think they can actually farm potatoes up in Sweden. It's too cold, you know? Because they're too busy yodeling. What? Swedish people yodel. I said they can't farm potatoes. What does that have to do with yodel? Because it's too cold, because they're yodeling up in the mountains, causing avalanches, like in every cartoon ever. <laughs> I, I guess, but most of them don't live in mountains. Most of them live in, like, a forest. How do you know this? Are, are, are you searching up Swedish? I looked at a map or two. Apparently, you didn't, since you thought East Dakota was a state. Well, at least I'm not searching up Swedish women on, on my Why phone. Why did you move on from this? Because you won't accept it, that this is something that happened in your life. It didn't. Do you really think you didn't just like go along with the rest of us and end up saying Swedish farmers as a joke? It, that, it, I don't know what you're talking about. On the trip to whatever place we were at. the general backstory of this lie that you're making up. It's not a lie. We called Joseph. He said he remembers you saying it under the table. No. Whether you were half asleep or not. No. Oh. That's, I'm calling him up right now again no, in the middle of the night. It's eleven. <laughs> yeah, I don't no. care. This this it's is for 12, science. Sorry. It's for science. Two a.m. And it's two a.m. No, it's not. It's eleven forty nine. No, it's. 2 I still gotta take a shower. Trust me, it's two a.m. I still gotta take a shower because me and my mom are playing instruction tomorrow, and I need to make sure. That none of my bodily oils destroy the game. But how fragile my homemade cards are. Well, I'm playing teardown, Trishim, that you can. You look you look being a terrorist, excuse me? Yeah, close enough. Well one of my subscribers is the FBI. Good for them. At least I'm not in love with Swedish farmers. Move on from this. It's not funny it's anymore. Not until you move on from bullying my brother. Your brother's a sack of potatoes. You can say what you want in terms of lies. Some of that. I'm not lying. We called a joke. Well, I'm not lying either. You, you obviously... Well, okay. You're confused. You have dementia. So technically you're not lying about this. You genuinely believe you didn't say this thing that all of us know you said. I am, I am not confused. Yes, you are. I am not confused. You, you have the monka because you admitted to something when you're half asleep. Is is the reason that you're so protective about this because it's true? I, know, I don't know what you're talking about. You're just making this up. I'm not making this up. There's just going to be 15 minutes in this video of me and you just arguing about stuff that doesn't matter. Well, if you think about it, nothing in life matters. Oh, well, legally speaking, you should just shut up. You know, I still remember my favorite Family Guy quote. Stewie Griffin at an Italian restaurant. Do you want to hear my favorite Family Guy quote? What's Family Guy? All of us are going to die. None of, none, nothing in life matters. So yeah, I guess I'll have a medium spaghetti instead of a small. That is Stewie Griffin ordering his food at an Italian restaurant. I still live by that logic to this very day. How is this tower not falling apart? It's like 11% over.
Pizza Tower? What? Pizza Tower? No, Luxury Tower. So are we just moving on now? Yes, that would be preferable before I bring up your banking info. I just have one more question. Are you so protected over this? Because like it it was it like when somebody accidentally over this? It just didn't happen. Is it because like it's when somebody gets drunk and like they accidentally tell the truth about something no, that they didn't what want are you to? Talking about? Were you so eepy that you actually confessed or something? No, I said it as a joke. So you did say it? I might have. I'm, I think I didn't, but I probably did. That's all I wanted to hear. I probably said as a joke. I, 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 but I don't think I did. I even said, even if you said it as a joke, it'd be fine. I just wanted to know that I wasn't I, insane. I did still, but I might have said it. Thank you. I just wanted to know that I wasn't insane. Because Joseph and Eli... insane still. Joseph and Eli all agreed. No, they didn't. What are you talking about? We called Joseph in the middle of... Oh, my goodness. The tower's about to fall on my head. It's God telling you to stop being horny for Swedish farmers. Which one? I don't know. Whichever one you believe in. All right, then. Are you playing the wind chimes right now? No. I'm flying on the jetpack while blowing up the building. I told my what mom you joke. I told my mom that joke you told me. Which one? The, the one where you had a dream about a fire wizard that was committing 9 12. That wasn't a joke, that was actual. Yeah, I know. It was incredibly distressing. No, all. You have to see it to believe it. All right, this tower's just refusing to go down, man. Well, no, not apparently, because apparently things that you see, you can't, you can't even believe things that you see. What are you saying? Because I saw oh, with my God. own eyes you saying under the table. Move on. You're the one who brought it back up. No. I think you need to see to believe it. Alright, hold on. Let me get my... There's no fun um, error vehicles. I'm probably going to need to hop off soon because... I need. I still need to take a shower. Okay, shower, you dirty boy. <laughs> Well, see, I got dirty because I was farming like a Swedish person. <laughs> Where's the helicopter? I thought I had to say, where was the Holocaust? No, I'm looking for a helicopter. You got me giggling like a little Swedish girl. I'm looking for a helicopter. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I love the minigun in this game. I can just tear tear away parts of the building within seconds. I hope you guys enjoyed me and Trevor's silly banter. So what we got done in this episode is that we finished the third part of the hallway, like the third flooring part, and we also go the back room. So you're just gonna rip roll you guys for three hours. That's not gonna happen. And then we also sheared a bunch of wool for. Three and a half hours straight. Two and a half hours straight. And all the stuff you missed out on was me shearing some sheep. Me getting around. Shut up. And 
and the stupid disc. I'm I'm still really sorry about that. I the that God, dude, that's actually I'm still, still kind of pissed off about that. I hate it. I hate everything. I sometimes. All right. Um. But yeah, we 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 got the relic disc, which I'm still missing the footage for that. What? Building. Anyways, uh, time to show you Trevor's phone number. By the way, this is my friend Trevor on the phone. He is known to be attracted to Swedish farmers. Trevor's making things up at this point. <laughs> and, and he hates babies. He, he bullies my little yeah, brother. Yeah, your brother looks like a potato. He, he's also known for cannibalizing babies for his Swedish farmer and girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, All right, goodbye, guys. he's also he he can also cheer people up very easily. No, I still hate the fact that we're missing eight hours of gameplay here. But look, there we go. We're almost done uploading the cloud. Let's see, that little walk I took to find the DVD. Jesus! Dude, that expanded the world by 50 megabytes. Oh my god. Look at that. That that little trip I took to the archaeology site. Dude, last time I saw it, it was like 760 megabytes at, at best. That's 851 megabytes. I know because I was walking for four hours straight trying to find an archaeology site that gives me the DVDs. Only four hours? Come on, you do better with that. I'm not going on another cherry blossom tree hunt. Why? Because I was like walking for like a good like seven, maybe five hours. No, definitely not seven. For like five or six hours straight of just walking. But yeah, I still gotta convert this video, so I'm gonna let this video convert while I'm taking my shower. Goodbye. Bye, Trevor, and bye to my great viewers that I'm hoping will forgive me for my goof up of deleting the footage. Goodbye. 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 I might see you again. All right. Bye, Trevor. He totally said that he was attracted to Swedish farmers on the school field trip that we took. Anyways, got this convert and got a lot of things to do. Bye.